Seven people are facing charges after a frightening scene on the expressway. Dozens of bikers caused chaos on the road, and a state trooper shot one of the suspects. WBZ's Christina Hager is live in Boston right now with the latest for us. Christina? Well, Chris and Derrido Montero was the first of seven people arrest, arrested for their alleged involvement in this motorcycle, dirt bike, ATV sort of flash mob that happened on the expressway this weekend. Prosecutors say the 28-year-old Montero was operating an ATV without a valid license. His attorney said he had a minor injury at the bottom of his leg, and we could see a hole in his pants and a bandage on his foot. According to police, that was associated with a police involvement involved shooting during this ordeal, which was so chaotic it had part of the expressway shut down on Saturday. Police say there were dozens of people involved riding on, on off-road bikes through and between cars, some going the wrong way, causing a very dangerous driving situation. Police had to close exit 18 southbound near Albany Street for several hours as dispatchers were fielding a slew of 911 calls from witnesses. Now, I just read the police report, which alleges that Montero was riding a white ATV and aiming it directly at a trooper. That's when a trooper uh, apparently uh, discharged a weapon. That shooting, that police involved shooting, is now under investigation by the district attorney's office. As for Montero, a not guilty plea was entered on his behalf. He was treated and released from Boston Medical Center. He, uh, his bail was set at $2,000, and six others who were also arrested are set to be arraigned in this case tomorrow. That's the latest live from Boston Municipal Court. Christina Hager, WBC News.